it's part of our natural cycle, so you have to always be aware. Of cycles of life, cycles of drought, whatever cycle, Montana's no stranger to drought. And last year, grasshoppers made their case as cold-blooded killers, feasting on any green foliage that they could find. Montana cereal and pulse crops were the target. When they get hungry, then they start to aggregate more, and then, then they move into crops, and that's when they cause problems. Frank Etzler is the Natural Resource Section Manager for the Department of Agriculture. He shared that grasshopper infestation to crops can be predicted based on yearly precipitation and heating trends. Warmer winters and warmer falls mean more eggs are laid and survive over winter. MTN Zone meteorologist Ryan Dennis explains how late precipitation this winter and spring may have saved farmers in portions of the state from an angry wave of hoppers look at the long-term weather prediction. So a lot of times our precipitation in the winter and spring is determined by La Nina or El Nino, which pattern we're in. Right now it does look like as we head into this upcoming winter and early spring of next year, we're gonna stay in the La Nina, meaning we're gonna to continue to have wetter weather than average, which will help reduce the grasshoppers that are around during the summer. Now farmers can't always flip the switch for rain showers as they'd like to, but they can be proactive by being aware during hopper hatching season. You have to be tied to your land and kind of pay attention throughout the season. So you can kind of go out in the springtime and see how many nymphs are you going to see when you walk through? Or are you going to see a lot of things bouncing in front of you? Because they start off as very small insects and then before they get to the really big light ones where they cause the most damage. So this year the grasshoppers were not nearly as bad as they were last year. And part of that's because last year we didn't see a lot of precipitation during the spring and it was a lot hotter as well. And as you take a look at the drought conditions map in March of last year, we were abnormally dry, but it really wasn't all that bad. But since it was warmer than average last spring and since it was drier than average, the drought conditions got worse as the spring went on. And once we got into early summer, so the end of June, we were seeing extreme drought conditions in portions of Montana. And of course, with everything being very dry, that meant that the grasshoppers wanted to go to farmer's fields and eat the crops because that was fresh and something that they desired. It's important to note that some areas, including eastern Montana in particular, were hit much harder with hoppers than in the western portion, but we can still thank Mother Nature for her late presence this year. In Great Falls, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.